So, does this Milwaukee have a fatal flaw? Put it on stun. Alright, so I'm going to show you a fatal flaw. Something that I've never seen before. No, not really. It's not drastic. I'm trying to overwrite this. Um, I bought this fastback right here and it's got this uh, head right here and, and I don't even know how long this thing's been out it could have been it could have just came out or it could have been out for a couple years I don't know and the reason why I don't know is because how freaking good the original fastback is I still would have never went um, we had bought a couple additional fastbacks that came out and replaced these and uh they were newer gens we didn't i didn't care for them mm. uh they, they they i don't think they were as good however uh we came to the job and none of us had a knife on us none of us so we had to go down to home depot and of course that's not today that was a previous day because i got one of our knives on us now but um we picked up uh, this one right here which is part number 48-22-1505. That's the one that has this head on it. Then of course this one right here, which would be comparative to this. Let me point out a couple issues before I get into my um, issue with the, the, that other fastback. Harley pointed out that you have more cutting edge right here with the newer style. Uh, it's definitely a slimmer knife all around yeah it's it um now if you're really cutting reefing in on stuff pushing hard you're probably going to appreciate the original one but i will say this one just does not take up the real estate one thing i will say we've already went through quite a few of these and after you run these for about a year or two the belt clip will break off this one i can tell won't um, it's thicker metal I mean, we're assuming it won't. Oh, we don't it have heavier. we don't have any data or, or, or evidence to prove that because I do have these a are knife. To that, I do have a knife that has that one on it, and I've had it for about six oh, months. Oh, I forgot. I yeah. forgot you do have that. Okay, mm -hmm. so no issues with that one. That's why I was carrying that. I'm gonna keep rocking these for as long as I my original ones. We got about 10, 12, 15 of these, so. I typically grab the one that's worst outlook, the one that has the most wear on it. I actually have had a couple that were wore more, but the clips broke on them, so they ended up going in the trash. But let's get to this guy right here. This is one that excited me because I'm not going to carry it every day, but I will definitely carry it on demo day, and I would carry it on uh, the last few days that we're wrapping up a job because of this right here. Uh, having that right there, especially for demo, for taking out lights and being able to, I think we're finding out right now why, okay, we got the thing out. That thing comes out so stupid hard. Now it does come, have a fit, has a Phillips, has a straight bit and has your quarter inch hex. That's really cool because that'll take care of your lighting fixtures. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to do so much with this. I would think a handyman would just eat this thing up. Got has bottle opener. Uh, where's the? Yeah, that is a bottle opener. Um, for wires right there. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I see a hammer right there. <laughs> has a spot for a oh, lamp. Actually, what is that? Where? Right there. Yeah, it's just back of the okay. back portion of there. Has a spot for a lanyard. Uh, so yeah, but I went in there, I bought a bunch of these this morning mm -hmm. to see if I could get one that actually the bit would come out. So that's where we're heading into. I'm going to close this, see if the bit comes out of this one. All right. And it will loosen up over time. Because we've been around these so much that they they do loosen up. So 
Yeah. yeah, but that one right there was so hard. That one's going back. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I, can, I mean, it literally is killing my hands. And I took this right here and pulled that one out about thirty or forty times, trying to get it to get broken. But either way, so I guess I bought I bought four of these, hoping to get one of them that worked. And the second one that I pulled out, I think I can work with. This reminds me of uh, you used to have that five and one with the built-in screwdriver. Yeah. That thing was awesome, and then it just that was, got wore out. That time. was a five and one, very similar. They, they started selling combinations of those things again. The only problem is with us and five and ones is we like to beat on the back of our yeah. five and ones. We use them as demo demolition tools. So we, so I think we're carrying Marshalltown now, right? Mm -hmm. Just plain and simple Marshalltown to where it's solid all the way through. So I don't want this video to go on. Um, I have no idea how long they made this. I think it's super cool. Uh, man, I don't think I'd want to carry it every day because I don't want that on me. It's going to be this or this, but this is definitely going to be on the van and for finish day and for demo days. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. All right. I'm glad our Milwaukee trailer didn't have that issue. Mm -hmm. See ya.